The Romney campaign says its own polling and focus groups are finding that undecided voters are troubled by whether Mr. Romney's positions on issues like abortion and contraception were too unyielding. So they say they want to make it sound like his positions aren't that extreme. They have to make it sound like Mr. Romney has not taken extreme positions on these issues. But Mr. Romney really has taken very, 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 very conservative positions on these issues, including on contraception. That is why at the second debate this week, Mr. Romney went out of his way to make himself sound like he hasn't taken the position that he really has actually taken. I don't believe employers should tell someone whether they could have contraceptive care or not. Every woman in America should have access to contraceptives. Actually, uh, when you say I don't believe that, you totally do believe that. You, you do. You do. Listen, I got to ask you here about there's a the uh, uh, Washington Post has got a blog out here uh, saying that uh, Jim Heath, a reporter for a TV station in Ohio, just tweeted a remarkable piece of news. Mitt Romney told them he does not support the Blunt Amendment, which would empower employers and insurers to deny health coverage they find morally objectionable. It is what happened here? Did you, did you uh, yeah, I, I, I didn't understand his question. Of course I support the Blunt Amendment. I, I thought he was talking about some state law that prevented people from getting contraception. So I, I was simply um, I misunderstood the question, and of course I support the Blunt Amendment. What does the Blunt Amendment do? It lets your boss determine whether or not you get access to contraception through your health insurance. I don't believe employers should tell someone whether they could have contraceptive care or not. Yes, yes you do. <laughs> yes you do, because you support the Blunt Amendment, which does exactly that. 